Hey guys, welcome to Mikey's Video Game Madness. Today we're playing Gears of War Judgment on the Xbox 360. It's been a while since I've actually recorded an Xbox 360 game. Unless you're watching these out of order, then I guess that won't mean much to you. But um, thanks to my good friend Dean on channel Escape to Gaming, Vinny Corleone 62. Excellent channel, I'll, again, since he donated this fantastic Xbox 360 unit I will once again um, put his channel in the description so that was very kind he donated um, Xbox 360 as as well as four other games that I will eventually get to um, this is Gears of War Judgment this is the fourth Gears of War game in the Gears of War series um, this is actually a prequel that takes place after Gears of War 1 and um, this was actually developed by a different company, which I can't even remember what the name is. It's made by the guys who made Bulletstorm. And I should have did some research before I played it. And um, I noticed a slight difference in the graphical style, but they kind of did it in the third Gears of War. But I really like it. Like, the first two Gears of War were really drab and gray and there's like a lack of color there's a lot of more vibrant colors in this game and I really dig that color scheme beside that the gameplay is exactly what you expect I'm just gonna continue I'm not that far into the game I'm still getting used to the Xbox 360 controller again because it's been a while since I've actually had an Xbox 360 cuz I um, originally traded my original th not my original my second actually my original um, died on me I got the red ring of death and I got frustrated and swore off Xbox for a while until I realized I couldn't play all the games I wanted to and after I had a PS3 for a while I said screw it I had some extra money and I bought a 360 and the PlayStation 4 came out and I would, like had to pick between two kids and unfortunately um, my Xbox got the shaft and um, I had to I decided to trade my Xbox 360 stuff versus the PlayStation 3 plus I had more PlayStation 3 games and accessories and whatnot because I collected for that longer so um, I'm happy I'm able to collect for the 360 again I'm so thankful that I have one again thank you Dean so much for donating that Xbox 360 that's amazing I wish I was that good of a person and generous maybe one day I'll be that way I it's pretty cool but anyway we're playing Gears of War Judgment and um one thing I'll complain about which I said in other games as polished as this game is they even added physics to this stuff that's ridiculous I am shooting a wine bottle with a machine gun and these wine bottles are staying intact I don't know what they're made out of but I think we live in a day and age that deserves some environmental destruction and you could be like oh well they'll say that for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One that's bullshit there's a little title called black on the original PS2 and Xbox original Xbox I was about to call it the Xbox One but um Microsoft totally fucked that up for me and because I'd be referring to their newest console and um that had amazing environmental destruction for the time in most games you could shoot out bottles so I sort of think that's bullshit this has that there's only a few games I forgot what the other one was that I played that has a reload system where your weapon will jam up if you don't reload at the right time there's another game that does it there's not a whole bunch you have subtitles on I always make that mistake and then end up not having them and then I get frustrated when I rewatch these videos and I can't read what the characters are saying because the sound is down yeah, I have subtitles on I wasn't paying attention I guess but um this is a fun game if you like the Gears of War games of course this goes by some system I can't remember if the other games that are not I mean it's been a while I finished the first Gears of War this isn't the gun and um, I got really far in the second one and I played a little bit of the third one 
and this is actually the second time I've ever picked up and played this Gears of War Judgment is actually fairly new because I never got a chance to play it when I had my Xbox 360 um all the Gears of War games are dirt cheap this is obviously I'm not giving away the Lancer that's like the best weapon I'll give away this shit shotgun because I have a feeling that they're going to force me to use this sniper rifle since they had a cutscene dedicated to it that's usually how they pull it off I see I, the Gears of War symbol now this has something to do with getting more stars but I'm not going to finish this in four minutes um, due to me rambling the whole time oh how I dread time limits all right, so is this really how the sniper rifles go in this game? It doesn't zoom in at all. Sorry, I've been spoiled with Sniper Elite, I guess. I'm not used to this game's um, control sensitivity because I've been playing the PlayStation 3 and 4. PlayStation 4 game has similar sensitivity to the Xbox 360. Thank goodness for the future sniper rifles that you don't have to wait a half an hour for it to um, reload. Unless you push the reload button twice on the wrong time, then you're screwed. I'm trying to think of what other game I played where it had that feature that this has. I can't believe this doesn't zoom in. Oh, it does. Not by much, though. I'm probably gonna get times. Um, I'm probably gonna get stars deducted from me because I didn't beat this level in a quick enough amount of time. My stars are already pretty low. I'm doing quite terrible. You gotta earn enough stars, but apparently there's levels that take place after the third Gears of War which would probably mean more to me if I actually finished the, the second and third game. So I might want to do that later, but for video purposes, since chronologically this game takes place before the first Gears of War, which I don't have. I didn't pick it up because I figured I'd finish it. I just wanted to get essential Xbox titles that I wanted to finish when I had the Xbox 360, and I did finish the first one, so I held off on it. Now, if they had Ghostbusters, that'd be a different story. I would have picked up Ghostbusters even though I finished that game like three times I think and the Wii once. I never finished the Nintendo DS I wish I had a way to record for that one. That one would be a little bit awkward to record because you gotta use the stylus to control it's kind of a strategy game. A little bit like XCOM like a really dumbed down version of XCOM. Oh they wanna play their grenade game? I can play it too. I always felt like the weapons in Gears of War were slightly, well, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I think they're ridiculously underpowered, I just, to me they don't feel like they have a lot of impact behind them, and I like the game, this, this is like the first real game I played that was like a, no I take that back, there's this game on Nintendo 64 that eventually came out on Playstation 2 called Winback. Covert Ops or some shit. That's the first duck and cover one. And there's also a game called Kill Switch. But I think this is the game that really defined the duck and cover shooter. Oh, he's so. Come on, help me out. I know folks that don't normally play this bad, but I'm sure I told you that before. Objective failed. Complete with blood on the screen. Okay, let me reload my last checkpoint. If 
but I think this is the first game that really design defined the run behind cover and shoot and I didn't use my sniper rifle why didn't it say that I had a sniper rifle oh well we'll have to figure out something shotgun one of the few weapons on this game you can actually fairly accurately shoot just let me you don't have to reload the whole thing I'm definitely not used to playing these games I don't know if you can tell oh he's a good guy this is why I would never be accepted into the military. Mortars up there. I'm stuck with the shotgun. I keep on pushing. I was gonna say square because I'm so used to playing the PlayStation. I had to look. I'm keep on pushing the X button to reload. I guess they would. What the hell is on his head? He's got some classic Boris Karloff's Frankenstein's monster thing going on. The black and white Frankenstein was a uh, well, he was green, but you couldn't tell because it's in black and white. I often wonder why they would go through all that trouble to make him green, knowing that the film was going to be in black and white. I don't think it would have affected the color. But if you look at um, some of the older merchandise based on Frankenstein's monster, you'll notice that he's not green because a lot of people didn't know what color he was actually supposed to be. But he looks kind of weird. I don't know if I dig that design choice or not. So I'm guessing if you don't do the mission the first time or reactivate it somehow, you can't get the extra points. This is where I died last time. Of course you guys know that since you're watching this as I play. Wasted that grenade. We'll just chuck it up to I like explosions. I don't have my TV turned up loud enough to actually really hear what's going on. That's something that's actually hurting my gameplay beside me running my mouth here. Fuck you. We don't have environmental destruction, but we have cool, cool glowing textures of what happened after we leave a. Um, bullet hole behind. I know my commentary is amazing today. It's been a long day but I really wanted to record a video. An Xbox one nonetheless. So this gameplay video is not an actual representation of my gameplay skill or lack thereof. I was gonna quote Ghostbusters and yell aim for the flat top but I stopped myself but I mean that was pretty stupid that I did because I told you what I was gonna say anyway so that was kind of a waste of time. How many of these big guys are there? Usually in the other Gears of War games you don't deal with these guys, these bigger guys till like later on. I don't remember the flat top guys all that much. Come on heal me so I can it's almost like they don't want to make get to the museum. more gibs. Is it gibs or jibs? I don't know. The only th real important thing is, is I have what appears to be a mini gun of some type. I 
I gotta push up to continue? That's so odd. So I don't think I'm gonna win those extra levels on the first try. So this game kind of starts out as you're like on trial so I kind of like the way that they tell the story where the character is talking about something that happened in the past. It's kind of cool. I like how they kind of, even though the game plays pretty much like every other Gears of War game ever, just like the other ones are kind of all the same. I kind of like the different approach in storytelling and I don't know if you play Bulletstorm but that was a really vibrant game and you can tell the company kind of um, brought that artistic vibrancy to this particular game. Most of the Gears of War games like I said are kind of drab in most areas. 3 had a lot more color. Well, at least the door was destructible. See if you get, if you um, do whatever objectives this de declassify thing is. I don't even know what you would call it. We'll call it a a skull cog, cause that's what it looks like. Like um, if you finish the objectives, you get more stars. I'm sorry, my commentary is so drab today. But if anything, that just means I'm dedicated to the channel, even if I'm not feeling it or feeling like recording something. I do it anyway for you guys, so. I did not pick the switch all these stupid weapons. I want my lancer back or rather freak these futuristic unnecessary chainsawed guns are called. One thing I liked about part three that I hope this game <laughs> he holds his head after it got shot. Like somebody just pistol whipped it and that's it not that a giant bullet went through it come on give me a good weapon I, I just feel like these weapons don't have much impact I want to see some ragdoll effects here the only thing I've seen that from so far that I shot is a wine bottle that's apparently made out of bulletproof material. Alright, and I got shot again because these weapons are severely underpowered. That's always been sort of a pet peeve of mine. I know it's supposed to add more strategy. I suck. Blah, blah, blah. Like I said, I like these games, but I just... Compared to other games I've played that are shooters, because obviously this isn't a first person shooter, but it's as close as you can get to one in the third person perspective. I mean, it has the same essential feel. What do you guys got? Nothing? Of course. The guy gets shot, he doesn't even like fly back or anything. And this is a pretty advanced version of the Unreal Engine 3. Oh shit, those are the guys that blow up. At least memory serves me correct, I can't really hear the explosions. So 
I guess this is Gear Wars version of like a M1 type rifle. just doesn't feel s as satisfying, I guess, as other shooters feel, because the weapons kind of feel underpowered. The enemies only really seem to react when they die. Which, for a flagship title, I sort of expect more. But like I said, I still like the game. I'm just pointing out some things that I think could be handled a little bit better but I'm not a developer but I mean the Xbox 360 basically got to use that at most advanced version of the Unreal 3 engine on consoles of its generation I mean granted the PS3 had some decent looking Unreal 3 Unreal Engine 3 games but I mean the Xbox 360 was essentially a PC and when they developed the engine they had the Xbox 360 in mind. They had all consoles in mind but mostly the Xbox 360. Like especially if you go back to earlier oh shit I pushed the reload button too slow. If you go back to earlier ports on the PlayStation 3 versus the Xbox 360 that ran on Unreal Engine 3 games the Xbox version beat it every time but games like um, later on it got a little bit better especially if the developers actually took the time and programmed exclusively for the PlayStation 3 I know Unreal Tournament on the PlayStation 3 was actually a really good version it actually had things that the PC version had like with the it was able to download custom maps and I think it had USB mouse support and shit. I can't tell my weapons reloading unless I look at that that little uh, status of your icon of your bullet so I need to turn the sound up, but I'm scared the microphone will pick it up. I don't have earphones hooked up right now. Or headphones, as the cool kids call them. Obviously, I am not a cool kid. So I will not call them that. Unless I'm correcting myself, I'll always hum earphones first. Are those like their pets? It would suck if you called the dog and gets a little excited and he just blows up. It's like, oh, it's time to put down the dog. We'll just get him excited. He'll just do himself and whatever. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. I pick up that weapon, but you guys will probably switch it. Right, so far, this game seems a little bit repetitive, like the first game. The second and third one kind of switched it up, but this is still fairly early on. So, unless I, I'll, I won't have an opinion about this full game unless I finish it. But I mean, it doesn't do anything wrong or takes away from the Gears of War games. So if you play Gears of War, you know exactly what you're getting into. I think this probably... Well, no, I think it's a tie between this and Part 3 as the best looking Gears of War game. In my unprofessional opinion. I don't even have grenades. How many times I gotta shoot this guy? How many times am I going to be inaccurate by trying to shoot this guy? So it's a one shot. I've never seen this one before. Or at least I don't remember it. No, they weren't joking when they said one shot. It's literally one shot. Man, I 
Oh no, it looks like the blood's slowly fading off of the wall. I like to see my damage. Oh well. Continue. Looks like I might have did slightly better than last time. Yay, all stars. Alright guys, this was Gears of War Judgment for the Xbox 360. Probably the last Gears of War to come out on the system before they put it on the Xbox One. Um, it's a good game if you like action games and really my only pet peeve is is nothing really seems destructible. It seems like everything is like reinforced with like bulletproof material and I think the weapons feel a little bit underpowered when you're shooting people like our aliens or the locusts or whatever the fuck you want to call those science fiction things but it's a fun game but not to put down the series because they're all great games to play they're all fun but if you played one Gears of War game you played them all but if I would have to pick from all the Gears of War games so far I haven't played much of this one but I still think three I had the most fun of with the little amount that I played with three. I haven't played all three either, but I'm just saying based on like playing the first couple of levels or whatever. But um yeah, this is great. Any Gears of War game you get it's great. I think the first one's a little bland and I, I literally got part two for like eighty nine cents and I think part three's like six dollars are cheaper. I think this one was maybe like 16 or something so they're all dirt cheap um, if I would suggest something <laughs> if you find the 98 cents one you can't go wrong with that for Gears of War 2 but I think so far out of all the Gears of War games even though they're all very similar I think Gears of War 3 adds a little bit of um, variety to the gameplay at least it feels that way and it, it it looks as good as this one I think it's one of the best looking ones beside this one so um yeah I would totally suggest three and I'll cover three eventually so you could be a be the judge on your own and I am rambling I'm so sorry this commentary is sort of lame but you know can't win them all so um if you're new to this channel make sure you check out the old videos and find a video that you like because you probably think this video is atrocious i won't blame you i won't judge you or whatever but you'll probably love at least one out of out of all those 400 videos and if you don't just assume you will and subscribe anyway you know just do it yeah i'm telling you what to do not really i'm not that big of an asshole but um, if you did like this video, could you do me a favor and please click the thumbs up and leave a comment, positive or negative. I do prefer the positive ones. If you choose to leave a negative comment, please make sure it's constructive criticism and don't be a fucking asshole, please. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you on the next video. Goodbye.